Hello all, welcome to Black Girl in the World. If you don't know me, you will. And if you do, welcome back. I am so happy to have you guys here again and present with me today. This is the second episode of the day. I'm like so ex- I'm so happy. Did you know that I missed y'all already? I really did. <laughs> Um, But anyways, uh, I wanted to talk to y'all about something very important, and lately my episodes have been targeted to more serious topics, which is fine because, hey, that's what it is, and that's what's about to happen right now, so it's okay. Let's start with the background information first, and we'll go into everything else, shall we? So... There was a situation where I was in a meeting and everyone was sharing their ideas from the prior start off meeting we had. I was semi ready for the meeting because I had a company in mind that I wanted to share, but I was and still very am a nervous person and fairly new to the people who attended this meeting. So I just like to keep quiet, especially when I don't feel like I'm educated enough to speak about a particular topic, which happens to me a lot, especially in political settings. (laughs) But anyway, I had my notes lined up from the date prior to the meeting, and everyone shared what they found or what they couldn't find, and I said nothing and only nodded to everyone else's suggestions. Even reading this transcript makes me a tad bit emotional because I really cannot believe I swallowed all my words about this company that I found. After the meeting, one of the attendees whom I shared my foundings with before the meeting came and asked me why I didn't share what I was talking about prior to the meeting because now I had all this additional work to bring to the next meeting as if I did nothing at all the first time. I didn't know what to say or how to tell her how the meeting made me feel and I kind of teared up but on my time of course (laughs) and I felt so hard on myself all of a sudden like Wow, you reverted back to this quiet place where you said you had escaped from and is living to tell the story, is what I'm thinking. I thought I left the majority of my shyness because of the things that I have felt like I've accomplished. I know I still had some shyness left, but geez, it hurt to feel like I was seeing myself mess up yet again and caged up yet again. I was searching up online about this topic for this episode and I ended up on Reddit. Yes, I did some searching on Reddit. And this person was talking about how he felt like he was reverting back to his old self every day and that he didn't feel like he made much progress and he also felt like he was just acting weird. And I put this in quotes. I couldn't have felt this any real (laughs) than I did last week when I choked up. I'm asking myself, where did all my confidence go? Why did it leave when I needed it the most? And did I even have any to begin with? I just struggled with that thought. I went further down the Reddit train to see that uplifting comments were making the person try and continue along his spiritual healing journey. And I really hope that they have a different perspective now than they did when they made the um, post two years ago. But a comment from a spiritual community made this post, and I'll say it here. They said, stop waiting around for them to text you. Stop waiting around to go on that walk or go see that movie. Stop waiting for someone else to do something before you do. Trust in yourself. Trust in me delivering this message. 
Trust in the universe that if you see this, it's for a reason. Life isn't all peaches and rainbows, but there are peaches and rainbows in life, so make sure you take time to enjoy them. This message hit me harder than it should right now because my fear is what has been holding me back for so long. Holding me back from scheduling myself and sticking to it. Holding me back from saying what I want to say and finding the right moment to say it. Holding me back from making a decision or believing what I say is true or learning to trust my heart and let the words flow without getting a second chance to say it because that isn't always guaranteed. I struggle with that and know that I have been for years, but publicly acknowledging is very frightening. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you and myself is shoving those words out of your mouth, even when you find them difficult, is I guess what we have to do. Maybe if you don't feel like as though the words are not the appropriate ones, prepare yourself for when the time comes to speak them, read them wherein they are the most passionate so that people understand that you know what you are talking about and trust you. Keep the old parts of you that make you happy and when your mind flashes back to a time where you may have experienced self-hate or made a very cringy decision or the creeping of regret and self-judgment try to consume you, you forgive yourself the most because we make mistakes. You shake the ideas of the past out of your head even when it's super hard, but remembering new thoughts are coming in, fresh and exciting ones, and they are not trying to remove the whole old you. They're just there to heal, fix, regulate maybe what's been broken for a while. All right, well, now it's official that it is my time to go for today. But I hope this message was received well and enjoy the rest of the Sunday we have left. And I will not be (laughs) posting another episode today. But um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, Make sure you share with your family and friends. And bye!